Hello and welcome to this introduction to a series of videos I will be doing about <laughs> Try and be serious Stephen, for once in your life be normal Be normal I can't, it's not me So but this is serious, and I am serious about this, you know, I wouldn't be wasting all this time if I wasn't serious. Um, so, this is an introductory video to a series of videos I'm going to be doing about this 19 year wave and these other bigger waves as well, but particularly the 19 year wave and how it's affected what we do on this planet as humans and the effects of it as well and how it affects us and obviously that has an effect on why we do what we do um, so obviously I've already done quite a few videos about this and it popped up during the videos I was doing on decoding the book of Revelation so it is all still linked to that and of course I could just point you back to previous videos I've done tell you to watch all of those and da da but I will give a very brief sort of uh, background as to how we got here so I started I had this idea about decoding the book of Revelations you know, apart from the first time I read it, you know, it made me sort of feel ill, like reading Revelation. It's like going through all this stuff and then, oh, and then we've got to go through it all again and we're going to have to go through an overload. And it just didn't seem right, it seemed wrong. So I had this idea that, and it wasn't, you know, I'd seen, noticed before that um, these the trumpets and the bowls kind of very similar or you know seem to match up with each other so I just had this idea like take the seven seals the seven trumpets and the seven bowls and they're all happening at the same time and also the seven churches how do they fit in and so we've got four lots of seven if we take those separate from the rest of the body of the story and sort of layer it all in seven stages so the whole book of Revelation becomes if you like five parallel stories in seven stages and so I looked into all of that and you know it is a very confusing book and the bit that I'd say that I hadn't really uh, sort of sorted out was the whole stuff with the two witnesses and the beast chasing the dragon and or the <laughs> dragon chasing the woman uh, which happens sort of in the middle of the book of Revelation and I was trying to pin it down to a certain time which I have done with all of the seven seals, trumpets, bowls and whatnot and the churches um, but this other bit, I thought, this, I feel, applies to the whole period, in a sense. The two witnesses and the, and the dragon chasing the woman applies to the whole period of Revelation. So even though it comes in the middle, it's sort of, it just, it's just all over it. And the, and the key was to this was this repeating of this time scale, time, times, and half a time which we also have in Daniel and it's also mentioned in days in Revelation and in Daniel and Daniel gets more specific about different number of days and I haven't really been doing Daniel a lot of people who try and work out the book of Revelation also link in Daniel I'm not doing that I think this is a separate vision and what separates it is this mention of the 42 months now they haven't they haven't kept it in every Bible, but you'll be seeing screenshots of online Bible search talking about 42 months in the major translations of the Bible. 
and I've got it here Revelation 13 5 the beast was allowed to mouth bombast and blasphemy and was given the right to reign for 42 months it's also mentioned another bit so this 42 months which is the same as three and a half years it's it's uh, you know 12 months 24 months and six months is time times and half and times is one year two year and half a year same as 42 months same as I think 1260 days I think so but 42 months isn't mentioned in Daniel it's specific to Revelation and specific to the vision of Revelation what it's about so time times and half a time is perhaps a phrase used when talking about a specific length of time but not actually saying what that specific length of time is I and mean, it might be three and a half years it might be three and a half days it might be three and a half of anything so we got this 42 months now what time period is that then so back in my decoding revelation work I'd stumbled across well I'd, I'd known about the 19 year cycle before I'd often thought you know I could remember quite easily 19 years ago it sort of seemed an easy time to remember it's like a chunk if you like and it's a very specific length of time it's a metonic cycle known and revered by Byzantium culture um, it's when the moon has gone round an exact number of times that fits into an exact number of years and it is actually very exact this 19 year cycle the moon has gone round 235 times now when the, the moon goes round the earth it's not always exactly the same so about 28 29 days and the reason for the difference is, is depending on what part of the orbit the Earth is on, because uh, the Moon is going around the Earth and the Earth's going around the Sun, when do you say, right, it's gone around exactly once now because the Earth has slightly moved in its curve, that alters the length of each Moon. But taken over an average, you know, then it's like, 29.36 or something, I've got it written down somewhere, anyway. So, that is a metonic cycle, 19 years, and if referred to as a month, and then multiplied by 42, i.e. 42 months, that equals 798, which is where I got the, the next wave, mood wave, for the men from. Now, just to mention mood waves quickly, it's something I've been into now for a good number of years. It's not something I heard from anyone else. It was just something I realized in periods when I was giving up cannabis. I found some periods easier to do it and some periods harder to do it. And I sort of stumbled across this sort of, you know, a monthly wave. So, you know, you're up one month and you're down the next and I was following that for about a year and I saw it to be true but then I saw there was something else and I stumbled upon also there's a year wave and a day wave as well and everyone's experiencing this but oddly men and women are on kind of opposites and also whether you're born in the southern or northern hemisphere affects your yearly wave so um, Decoding the book of Revelation, I stumble across this 19 year wave, and then that leads me to this 798 year wave for men and a 2128 year wave for women. We don't really need to talk about that so much, and we're more focusing on the 19 year wave and how that's affected times in history, but we will be looking up where we are on these longer waves because we don't really notice them so much. We'd have to really um, zoom out a, a long way back to really have a look at um, how these are affecting us and we probably don't have good enough historical records so I think that's something for the future you know when we can tune in more to our multiple previous lives and things like that so that's not for now um, so 
what I'm going to be doing is um, taking each of these, like I, I did a previous video on the American Civil War, so it's going to be like that, it's going to be looking at a 19 year period of time and I'm plotting on events that have hap happened in history using a website um, on this date you basically just type a year and then sometimes you have to add the word history and you you just you can get you know things that happened highlights or whatever uh, now because I'm starting back in uh, 1330 ish um, then you know the, the there aren't that many for each year so it's quite easy as I get later and later it's going to become more and more difficult sort of selecting what I put on the chart but basically I'm going for the if there's too many things and often there is to put to fit on the chart I'm just going for the main thing that seems to sort of have the biggest impact okay All right, so I won't be making too many conclusions right now. Um, I'll do that as we go, but I've already begun to see and get an idea of the major storyline that is going on for this 798 year period. So it started back in 1330 and it's still going on. And if we remember this little quote here, the beast was allowed to mouth, bombast and blasphemy and was given the right to reign for 42 months. So all during this period, the beast is reigning. So that's interesting. But yes, seeing, seeing a story develop and it will make sense because it's truth so I think I've covered what I wanted to say before we start so yeah thanks bye